Welcome back, guys. We are finally ready to head off to Scylla. So let's just get to it. So now we have quite a few things to do here on Scylla. We need to kill some primals for Nioka. I've been thinking. Um, okay, we'll talk to you. Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Okay. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Then by all means. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Oh, he's on Scylla. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Okay. So we'll do that a little later, but yeah. For now, we've got we've got quite a few things to do here on Scylla. We need to meet with someone for Vicar Max. We need to do some stuff for Nyoka. We've changed up our inventory a little bit. I'm not running that uh, nine-shot long-range assault rifle anymore. I actually upgraded a, hunt, a hunting rifle quite a few times. And I upgraded the assault rifle. It now does corrosive damage. And I upgraded its just overall damage a little bit. Put a sight on it to reduce its sway. So the hunting rifle actually does a lot more damage than just about anything else. So we'll just we'll just test it out right here. And we're stalking. And we're stalking. They can't see us. We are just way too far away. Let's just go like that. Insta kill. Instant kill on the squad leader. Like this thing just does a crazy amount of damage. So we're going to keep a hold of this for now as our primary long range damage dealer. Ooh, they have like this atmosphere they've created. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, now we've got primals. The behemoth, obviously, is the one we're going for. Shoot again, shoot again. Right, here we go. Nice, that's some good damage. We got him dead. Pretty easy takedown there. Pheromone gland is what we need. Complete cranial organ. I guess this could be worth a lot of bits to a brain collector. Good luck finding one, but it doesn't weigh anything. Has no value. So there may actually be a brain collector. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so how many of those pheromone glands do we need? I would assume we need all three considering these other ones are still showing up on our map. Somebody lives all the way out here? Surrounded by Aether? I guess so. This seems to be all locked up for the most part. Ooh, what is that? Combat drone. Wait, this might be Max's friend sealed oh, 
shoot. If we go like this, we can actually heal both of our dudes now. So we have a perk. That makes it so that when we use our breath inhaler, it will revive our crew members. With like 25% health, I believe. Okay. So this is probably where Vicar Max is. Dude, he's looking for it is at the moment. I don't want to open these doors and start that conversation without Max here. Primal Behemoth, Primal Ravager. I'm not really sure why that Behemoth doesn't have glands. And I, I do remember having fought some Primals on Terra 2. I think they may have patched them out just because of this quest. But obviously I don't know for sure. So. Pungent Primal Behemoth. There we go. Whoa, chill. Oh, there's still this guy. Holy, my assault rifle does crazy amounts of damage. Pick that up. There's a cave here. I'm kind of interested in exploring this. Let's just run through it real quick, see what's going on. Doesn't seem to be much. I hear sprats. Yeah, there's some sprats in here. The person was here. Salutations. This unit's primary excavator. function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other, Other functions, functions include, include dialogue. dialogue. Limited. Current okay. Active commands. Negative. The presence or absence of human, human operator operators is okay. achieves perfection by fulfilling its, its directive. directive. There's something right soothing about having a job and doing it proper. Okay. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk. Or this okay. unit has now exhausted it. This unit is removing rock search of minerals, metals. In search of mineral. Okay. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit... Okay. Greetings, Junior Excavator. Interesting. Tremor Cleaver. We've already had those. We have several of those, actually. They're not very powerful. That looks like a little power cell there. Is that all we've got here? We may find someone eventually who wants this droid or you know, has something, some kind of interaction for us to make with this droid. I want to try out the assault rifle against the behemoth. Just because of how crazy it looked like the damage was before. I recognize this. It's set on screwing this place up too. Terraformers. Well, I'll leave it on forever. And the final one. Else the air just drifts off. Yeah. This is Scylla's actually fairly small, it looks like. Let's go like this. Just let loose. So that is super strong, it's just not quite as bullet efficient, but I mean, with the amount of ammo we have right now, it really doesn't matter. Hello, outlaw. What is that? Primal Tamer's Baton. I wonder. 
Starcross Troopers. Combat? Oh, what the heck? I don't know why that was a log. Wait, we were we were checking something out. It is. It staggers. I see. It doesn't really do much damage though overall per hit. Its DPS is fairly low. I feel like we need to change up. Oh, outlaws. Off my oh, hello, Captain Urian. From another flaming impact crater. Also detecting constipation. Wait a minute. Let's just check our quests real quick. Harlow. The Hermit. So no, we're looking for Urian for Dr. Dorset on Groundbreaker. Hello. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. You are Symptoms quite welcome. Detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased <laughs> sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. The one and only. Wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's <laughs> already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to yeah, rescue me luck. from certain peril only furthers my delight. No offense. Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Yeah. Not a damned one. I'm a free man. There isn't a corporate snake that can hold down the anim. Okay. Well, got I've got some repairs to do. To do. Thankful. Then to the groundbreaker. Better late. Better late than, than never, never. I say. Unless you're very late, then you might. Okay, you go do what you gotta do there, good buddy. Okay. Combat drone. Absolutely demolished. What else do you guys have? We got a little ship here, but doesn't look like you've got much you can do for that. Alright. We saved Captain Erion. Scylla is very small. I wonder if there's gonna be really any new enemy types because I don't really like how we've only so far found like three different types of enemies that are non-human or robot. We probably should have taken. Speak to Nioka. Nioka. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Okay. Password to the door is Charon. Charon. F 
fuck? Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, some old Rebecca, man. Opal, Nioka. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool. Charon was the boat man to the underworld. They do have a lot of Greek mythology kind of mixed in here. Oh, shoot. Mega primal. Shoot. Hopefully he can't come up through this. Die! You son of a bitch. There we go. Got him. What you got there? Mega primal, primal brain. Melt. Yes, we want. Ah, oh, shoot. Pulse hammers suck. For Adrena time. Okay. Looks like we've just about cleared Ash Primal. Interesting. I wanted to retire on Ground Breaker one more job, I told myself. Never had any trouble with outlaws until now. I told them what we were hauling, but they shut off comms and opened fire again. They're shooting to wound. It's only a matter of time before this bird falls out of the sky, so I'm setting her down in hopes that we can broker some agreement, agreeable terms of surrender. Even if it means my head, at least the crew gets a fighting chance. Can't shake the feeling that they were ready for me, like they knew exactly which route I'd take. What a way to end a career. So what was he hauling? Heavy construction gear? That's pretty strong. Inferno Scythe, but it's not even like a Mark II or anything. One-handed melee up by five points. It's a fairly decent set of gear there. An axe, no thank you. Although, I mean, if we wanted to, we could just go nuts and become an axe murderer. Reallocate all our points into one-handed melee. So whose sentries are they? I'm not entirely sure. We have more than that. We have... Okay, so we need to meet with the... Uh, okay, so there's a science weapon here. We need to meet with the one guy who's missing. Or the, the hermit, I mean. I guess that's it. We need to find the science weapon and the hermit, and then do um, Felix's quest on the other side of the planet. So let's go ahead and do this one. But let's get Vicar Max in the crew before we do that. We can trade out either one, but I generally like to have Parvati with us. Just because her skills, her bonuses are so strong, so useful. Just about always. Get a little drink of water. Let's take Nioka out. What is she holding? Is it supposed to be a gun or a fish? I don't really know. Man to Queen examined. Ah. So maybe that's a weak spot for her, is that little gland right there where she spits out her dudes. Let's um let's actually give Parvati the one-handed melee weapon or armor that we just picked up, this heavy construction stuff. That's 43, holy moly. And then we can give Vicar Max. First off, that's fine. Impact hammer though, it was 120 total damage, or damage per second. At least give him an impact hammer mark too, but that one might be pretty good. Prismatic hammer. Knockdown. Knockdown. 
Maybe we give him that. 214, 193. Melee weapon attack speed. Yeah, we'll give him that. And then we'll go ahead and give him the armor that uh, she was wearing. What's this helmet? 48 armor? Yeah, he's fine with that. But his gun... Do we have a better shotgun? Probably not at this point. So yeah, what? Whatever. We'll just continue on. Wait, that's some baton though. 214. to 276 and it has stun. So yeah, we're going to give him that. And we're going to head over here where we will find both the science weapon and probably the hermit that Vicar Max is looking for. I'm kind of surprised with how small this area is. Although it is just an asteroid, so I guess I shouldn't have expected too much. How did the primals get here? That's the real question. There was no atmosphere until people brought atmosphere here. So that's kind of interesting. Did people bring primals here on accident or on purpose? General store. Interesting. Weapon parts, I'll take those. My lockpick skill is really high. Impact hammer mark two. Let's check Parvati's. She does have an impact hammer mark two. So we can actually upgrade that if we want to. Her hammer is like her most important weapon. Not because she uses it the most, which she might. I don't really know. I don't pay enough attention, but it's because of her ability. Which luckily, we've decided to actually pay attention to abilities lately and are using them. Mandibular Rearranger. Interesting. One-handed melee. I guess we didn't even need to search for clues on that. Time theft. All messages sent and received by this terminal of the property of Hephaestus Mining Corp. Okay. We've completed our initial survey and I have to admit that your lunch... Your hunch was right. I owe you the next lunch the next time I'm on Terra 1. We barely started our survey before we uncovered a mineral vein with high densities of yttrium and scandium. There's a limit to how much my team can extract in these pressure suits, get us a terraformer, and some prospecting mechanicals. And this little venture of ours is going to make us all rich. Okay. Thanks for rushing us. That replacement part, Linda, my team got us the former repaired, and it's busy churning out OT again. Or O2 again. Did you have to send one loaded with seed stock? Damn grasses are triggering my allergies. Survey efforts continue. That initial vein ran dry quicker than we'd hoped. But we're getting promised results, promising results from other locations. Density of scandium lower than first sight, but yttrium still at respectable levels. We had a board team out here last week scanning for signals from the Hope. We could all guess the results from how unhappy they looked. In three years since the board classified the ship as missing, you'd think we'd be over it by now. Interesting. Congratulations on your promotion. Youngest full VP in combat in company history. Just promise me you won't promote that drill bit Needham to replace you. Graham? Wait, Needham. Bad news, Lynn. All the sites within the former's dome have run dry. The mechanicals are bringing back good samples from beyond the retention field. I'll be sending you a requisition for a hauler to, reloc to relocate the terraformer closer to the new sites. Dun, 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 dun. Need them. Thackeray, your request for site relocation on that useless rock is denied. You've had over a year to generate a profit. If you haven't done it by now, it's not going to happen. And Evers is too busy to hide your incompetence. I don't want to hear any of your absurd excuses either. The terraformer failure was bad enough, but this drivel about primals running loose and damaging your equipment is the limit. The utter limit do you hear. Operations at your site are terminated effective immediately. I've got a new site in mind for you. One of the rocks orbiting Hephaestus. Temps are a cool 170 degrees, degrees Celsius. Incredible. Logs. Happy birthday, Julia. Ha, 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 ha. Ask about sublight. 
Ask Linda for info on this sublight company that freighter captain claimed to work for them. Very strange ship, no corporate branding or colors. The captain didn't wear an approved uniform. Dealing with him left me out of sorts. Had some interesting items for sale, though. Can't shake the feeling that they fell off the back of a conveyor. That captain sold Harris something called the rearranger, then left before we discovered that the damn thing doesn't work. Only thing it rearranged is the number of bits on Harris's cart. Wait, I've already seen that for some reason. I've seen that exact same log. Okay, whatever. Journal. Don't bite this. The empty man. I knew he was going to be right here. So having Max with us apparently unsealed this area. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? Mm. I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. Mm -hmm. I've spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart She's or gonna the kill unprepared. Vicar Max. Poison him. Uh, what happens if you're unprepared? A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Okay. Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness Raving and insanity. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. Uh, I don't know, Captain. Is this safe? I don't think this is safe. Very well. Not like I'm going anywhere. Head on into the meditation room when you decide you're ready and partake of the sacramental Hoppy. incense. Okay, whatever. We're gonna take her and take him in there. What else does she have? Let's see if she has any logs. Say anything about her being a nut job. And killing people repeatedly on purpose. Oh no. Isadora de Soto. Why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? Mother. You're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... Uh, 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 What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? Y'all see these stars I'm seeing? <laughs> Gosh, they're pretty. Like <laughs> shimmers in the sea. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Um, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. No. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. 
I hope you'll pardon my interruption, but I think it's because he's unhappy with himself. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? No. Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... more full of the plan. This year, it's all coming out wrong. The plan. It filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Stories are real. If they mean something, if they inspire your kindness or, or action, but maybe Max's story about himself is all wrong, and that's why he's so unhappy. Interesting. You want me to give up my, my discipline? My control? I, oh, but I can't. I can't. I, without order, there is chaos. You need to love the chaos, Maximilian. Let it envelop you. Take you where it will. Besides, you really have no choice anyway. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? No. You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? What are you talking about? I can do that. Get right. He is the ideal. Max is ideal. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. I... Woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Hmm. Everything is perfect. Sure. That was a philosophical trip right there. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. Something to be said about that. 
I am content. I finally. F okay. Well, eleven hundred bits. Wait, two sets of eleven hundred bits. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes. It is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Hmm. Hearing that brings me great joy, my friend. Okay. Let's get out. I'm fairly certain we have nothing left to do here. We do need to go to the other side of this asteroid to go meet with Felix's friend. Solution Vital, Byzantium. Yep, only thing left is Friendship's Due. All right. Vicar Max, don't die. There we go. Okay, it seems we've explored most of this place. Ooh, a little cave. I'm gonna go down in there for sure. This place is too small. I don't wanna I don't wanna miss anything. Sprats. Hello? Mr. Hover Mechanical. It's hardly even worth getting in there, but I can't get in there as it is. You will be feeling better soon. Right, control armor. So what's with you, little little buddy? Quiet, Nothing? You just got sprats all over this place? That's kind of strange. Okay. And is there anything to be done with this platform up here? Looks like a negative, but I can't be sure. Oh, wait, we can go up there. Hmm. Now, is there anything worthwhile up here? Rabid spread. Don't mess with us. Music box. There's some useful stuff up here. Ringmaster's log. Oh, the circus. Predictably, our primal passengers broke free shortly after landing. I said this would happen after the enclosure malfunction we hushed up on Byzantium. Who cares how many tickets we sold? That woman lost an arm. The first and second recovery teams never returned. The only way I can convince the rest of the crew to form a third team is if I join them. I'm management. Architect, erase them. I'm not supposed to face this type of hazard. I'm leaving this journal with the ship in case we don't return. To any circus time employees reading this, immediately hand this device to your supervisor and stop reading. Circus time supervisors. Our plans to present these the primal performers were premature. These creatures cannot be tamed. The next time marketing wants to present an actual circus, make one of them lead the damn thing. Yeah, so it seems that the entertainment that was lined up for this place kind of went awry. And that's how the primals got here. So people actually did intentionally bring the primals here and things went bad. Where is that works station? Up here? Let's check this. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
there's enemies up here. Vicar Max is going up. Okay. I'm right behind you, bro. Let's go. So these guys are outlaws, not marauders. I was gonna say it's weird to see them talk, but it's really not that weird now, I guess. Because they're not... Raiders. Nothing in that bin. Tactical shotgun. Some of these folks are sublet. The others. Felix, are those the folks you're looking for? All together. Get up! Who are these guys? What are these guys doing here? Outlaws. Sublight thugs. So there were sublight guys on that ship. Clearly. So was Sublight the one who sent the uh, animals then? That's the question, the primals. Who, where is this? Oh, it's right here. There's the workshop. Now get your bludgeoning objects ready. Where is there? Okay. Circus time, freighter. Where does this go? <laughs> Just running along, singing a song. Very confused about what I'm doing. Okay, let's get off this asteroid. Well, get off this half of the asteroid and get on to the other half. I'm kind of sad about Scylla. Such a short-lived journey here. Oh, shoot, I need Felix. Back on the ship. My bad, my bad. go see Felix's best friend without Felix. I wish there was a way to change my party up other than just this. Let's get rid of Vicar Max. Felix can come in. Felix is super weak. But that's fine. I don't have... I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty small non-confrontational area. Volker. Hello, Mr. Volker. Outlaw. Hey, you. Looking for something? Where yes, do you think you're going? Yes, sir, I am. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. For now, Got my sights on. we may be shooting our way out of here. In fact, it seems kind of likely at this point. But that's okay. These guys aren't going to be too big of a, an issue. Anything over here? Just 
Sprats. Sprats all over this place. Just outlaws though, not a big deal. We can definitely kill all of these people with no issues. That's an injured outlaw, I guess. Yeah, or sleeping. Steel, steel. I wonder who these guys work for. Magnum. Yeah, this is definitely worth breaking into. Especially since it's free. That guy didn't say a word. Hmm. There's a lot of sleeping outlaws here. Bathroom. Logs. Acquisition logs. Cat's meow. Contraband pharmaceuticals brought down. Salvaged cargo. Ransomed crew. Okay, so these guys are the ones who shot down cats and irians. Uh, independent freighter. Getaway sticks. Subversive literature brought down. Salvaged cargo. Crew joined up. Freighter werewolf. Hall engine parts. Summary brought down. Salvaged crew. Crew jettisoned in escape pod. As usual, we, will, we were able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly they masked their heat signatures. Our patron pulled through again with that tracking data. Don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in no in position. We're in no position to refuse charity. Memo. I'm, in, I'm beginning to wor wonder about our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest Wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Okay, the pirate code. Rule number one, Harlow's the boss. Rule number two, fuck the board. Rule number three, why are you still reading? Pig, wake up. If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules. Why? Because life's a game to you? Maybe you like being played? You guzzle down that sense of security like it's purpleberry flavored opium fuck rules and fuck terminals it's not a revolution if we're using the weapons they raised against us time and time again okay whatever i'm just gonna take what we want because hey. what chill bro 36 bits Glad we sure i just picked up more than 36 bits Plus ten lockpick. Plus ten to lockpick is actually a lot. Marlow. And Harlow. Where does this go? I think we were in here before. <laughs> Outlaws everywhere. Okay. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? <laughs> Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. Felix's family, mister. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. It's been doing fine. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. 
I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Your revolution, you have like five dudes with you. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. We'll see. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. We'll see. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel but Ooh. remember, I want proof. Okay, Bring me hands here. Attached. My token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. We now have Harlow's emblem. Okay, so we are going to end this episode here. It looks like we have cleared out Scylla. We actually got a decent amount done this time around. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty happy about this one. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Got himself a cozy little outfit, huh? And I will see you in the next one.